And welcome back to ABC 7 at 6. We want to get back to breaking news that we've been following since 5 o'clock. Veronica Escobar, the congresswoman here in El Paso, is now speaking after touring the facility housing Afghan refugees. Let's listen in live. ...installations where our Afghan allies and their families would be flown to. I immediately put in a request to make sure uh, that I could um, visit the site, but also my team and I have been in constant communication with the White House, DOD, state, all of our partners, um, every, every governmental agency possible to get as much information, not just for the community of El Paso, not just for our region, but also really for the American public. Um, what we are living through right now is pretty historic. And I, I want to acknowledge that despite the great challenges that we have witnessed unfolding uh, on the TV in front of us uh, every day, it is pretty extraordinary that ni about 90,000 people have been flown out of Afghanistan to safety. And um, I, th I think we need to recognize that as a country. I think there's going to be plenty of time for hearings, and there will be lots of congressional hearings, lots of lookbacks, not just over the last several months, but frankly, my view is there needs to be a look back over the last two decades um, so that we can learn from missteps, mistakes, from decisions that um, hopefully will guide future decisions and, and future judgments. But I want to share with you primarily, you know, having said that, what I want to share with you what I saw today and uh, share with the American people in our region uh, that there really is an extraordinary story to tell. And I feel incredibly privileged to have been on Fort Bliss and to have been able to talk to some Afghan families. I was able to thank every single soldier that I met. I met some really extraordinary American service members. Every single service member told me how proud they were to be a part of this mission. Every single soldier told me what a privilege it was, it is, to help care for these families. I really feel tremendous emotion having left Fort Bliss. Um, multiple soldiers told me how high morale is on the ground at Fort Bliss and what a joy it is to be able to participate. As I thanked them, I told them that they are taking part of a really important moment in American history as we welcome our allies, as we demonstrate to the world that we are a country of goodwill, that we are a country that will keep her promises, that we are a country of compassion. And that's who we as a region here in the El Paso, Las Cruces, Ciudad Juarez region, that's who we've always been. So in many ways, there could not be a better location to receive these vulnerable families. I saw Afghan families, um, I saw infants, I saw a mom nursing her baby who thanked me. I saw, I met, I saw elderly people. I spoke with an interpreter who expressed tremendous gratitude and who fled and left everything with his wife. He's worried about his family that's left behind, family members that did not work for the government. They did not work alongside our American service members, but family that they love and that they're worried about. The American Red Cross is on site. A number of NGOs are on site uh, at Fort Bliss. And the American Red Cross has been really remarkable, really remarkable. And they are working to get tablets and phones so that Afghan families can connect internationally with those that they left behind. Uh, I also shared with the military leadership that our caseworkers who are working constantly uh, on the casework to try to do as much as possible, especially um, as we approach August 31st, I, I shared with them that if there's any Afghan guests on Fort Bliss, and guests is how our American service members refer to 
the Afghan refugees. We were listening America. live there to Congresswoman Veronica Escobar, who just toured earlier uh, the insta installation that is housing Afghan refugees on Fort Bliss, painting a very positive picture about what is happening there and the morale uh, there right now. Uh,